MLBbro.com, covering black and brown major leaders. Josh Bell, first baseman of the Washington Nationals. All right, talk about uh, your performance today. Uh, you ended up nine-game losing streak uh, against a very hot team in the Atlanta Braves. Uh, what, was it, what was it about today you feel like it's, it's time to get this thing going? Well, yeah, I think uh, our, our pitchers did really well. Um, we had a bullpen day um, for the most part. We, we kept them off the board, so uh, a lot of offense on our side. Uh, they, they kept us off the field, um, so that makes it a lot easier for us. Uh, just constantly feeling like we're at the plate, you know, putting pressure on the Braves. And you're having comparable numbers to your All-Star season in uh, 2019. Uh, do you feel uh, a little bit slighted about not getting selected to the All-Star team this year? No, I mean, I, I feel like if, if you had told me in January that, you know, I was going to head into the break, hitting over 300 with, you know, 50 RBIs and, you know, double-digit homers, uh, but I wasn't going to make the All-Star team, like, would I sign up for that? I'd sign up for that in a heartbeat. So, uh, you know, I'm happy with where I'm at, um, and I'm, I'm happy, you know, that I'm healthy going into the, 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 the break, and hopefully I can come back uh, next half stronger. Now, uh, the news of uh, your teammate, Juan, rejecting the offer um, makes me want to think, your contract ends up comes up at the end of the year. So, uh, do you think you'll be here at the end of the year, or do you think you'll be here in this team, or is like, are you like, are you, will you be a cornerstone for this team in the future? No, yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm best mentally um, just focusing on myself and focusing on, you know, what, what happens next. I know we have the Diamondbacks when we come back after the break, and you know, in regards to like GMs and and their decisions, uh, you know, I, I can't, you know, spend any time trying to play their role. Um, because um, my role is in between the lines, playing on the diamond. Well, let's go back to in between the lines. I mean, what, what, what should be changed in your approach to the plate to make you hitting over here this year? Um, yeah, I think you know my contact rates are you know a lot higher. Uh, you know, I, I feel like uh, you know I'm, I'm hitting balls, uh, you know, squaring balls up a little bit more, um, hitting balls on the line a little bit more as opposed to ground balls and, and you know lazy fly balls. So uh, hopefully I can keep it up uh, next half. And going to the second half, what do you plan to do in the, during the All Star break? To help keep yourself mentally prepared to uh, face the uh, down stretch. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely pumped to you know go home and uh, you know spend some time with the family, get some uh, free babysitting for my parents, and uh, you know take my wife on a date. So uh, I think that that, that kind of uh, mental reset is going to help me second half. Where is your go-to date night for life, by the way? Uh, steakhouse somewhere. Steakhouse yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. The Greek Chris Morton, something like that. Yeah, something awesome, like that. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. MLBbro.com covering black and brown major leagues.